Jamie joins us in San Jose, California. Jamie, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Good morning, Ken. Thank you for taking my call. Happy to, Jamie. What's going on? Uh, so kind of tying in with what you were just saying, um, my husband and I feel like fish out of water, um, and we would like to get a little bit more clear about our future, and we're looking for some guidance. Um, our daughter has a medical exemption, and in the state of California, it will likely no longer be valid um, within a couple years. Um, and so we're looking at either homeschooling her, which means me giving up my career um, where I'm at right now, um, or, and or moving out of state. Um, and so just trying to figure out what to do what to consider on either of these options. Um, my husband and I both work for um, agencies uh, help that are CalPERS agencies, so for our retirement. Mm -hmm. And so in my case, I would be giving up retirement um, medical. Uh, and just wondering if that's really a big loss or not. Um, what do you, so, so this is very interesting. I think there's a couple ways you could go. Um, this uh -huh. would be a big financial hit if you go home and homeschool your daughter. It'd be a big hit. Right. Yeah. How much? Uh, over 100000 And that's not including the retirement and some other stuff, right? Exactly. Exactly. We have enough equity in our home that we could sell it and move out of state. Um, and buy a piece of property and build. And Let me ask cash. you this. Here's this. This this may seem abrupt, but I, I think it's uh -huh. going to lead me to really what I think you should do. Okay. If your daughter wasn't being pushed out of the school system with that medical exemption mm -hmm. going away, would we even be considering any of this? Um. Would no. You, yeah. Not not until retirement. We were planning on staying here. Okay. I got. I think I've got the solution. How much would it cost? for someone else to homeschool your daughter. So you're still going into work, the daughter's at home, mm -hmm. and you hire somebody, maybe even a retired teacher. And now in my mind, this is where I go, Jamie, so don't get hung right. up on the details of this, <laughs> but I'm trying to find a maybe a, a grandmother, uh, a, a, you know, a career teacher who's retired, loved teaching, would never get back okay. in it, but would love to be a part of your daughter's education because of her unique health situation. And she doesn't have to go back to work in a normal environment. She comes to your house and she teaches your daughter. I'm just curious yeah. how much that would cost. And I think that that you could absorb that cost. I don't think it would be a, an insane cost. Is that even no, possible? That is something that um, I hadn't thought about. Um, I had thought about doing like a shared homeschooling where another parent and I share. That's even um, but better. This is not something I had thought about. That's even better. Um, does yeah, she have does she definitely. have physical limitations to where she has to have someone with her all day long? Um, no, just I mean age wise, yes, she's young. How old is she? Um, but other, she's two. Oh, oh, wait yeah. a second. So she's not even ready for school yet, anyway. Well, they require it in the state starting in daycare, even if they're a few months old. She has to be in daycare. Uh, oh, no, no, she doesn't have to be in daycare. Um, but if she were to go to a daycare, she would have to have um, either the medical exemption um, or be 100% vaccinated to their schedule. Okay. All right, so that's starting to get a little bit outside of my... So my point is, is that right. what we need is a solution to where she's not she's not relying on the school system anymore. You're doing it out of the home. Is that, is that what I'm understanding? Yes, that would be... Um, Definitely the, the option, what you've mentioned with having somebody else doing the homeschooling um, and paying them to do that may be an option. I've connected with a homeschooling network, and so I could pose that question and see if that is something that, that we could manage. And even if they know of somebody that might be able to help, I could do that. I can tell you right now you can manage it because it's less. it's going to be less expensive than you coming home. Or True. the only other option is you guys moving out of California where maybe another state right. where another state has that option. Right. But but that's you two starting all over and what you told me is is yeah. that if this weren't a a hurdle that you were dealing with, you wouldn't even be considering moving. So I'm saying, wait a second, can we not adjust our budget? I mean, right. for 3 we got 3 years until this is or, or I don't even I I'm not sure I understand the daycare thing, so I shouldn't say that. My mm -hmm. point is, you can make a a smaller sacrifice. And mm -hmm. still have that retirement, still make the good money. You guys can change your lifestyle a little bit and take care of her needs through the homeschool environment. Somebody else comes along and, and it's in the home. 
Yeah, no, it's very valid. I, I had not considered that. So I definitely appreciate I'm going to tell that. you that that's what Stacy and I would be discussing. Okay. I, I put myself okay. in your shoes. I've got three kids and that's yeah. what we would be doing because I think that's the best bet. Um, yeah, and I, I think definitely. it's better for her too, by the way. Yeah. What Thank an awesome, you. what an awesome opportunity to be able to take care of her needs in the home. And, uh, you too. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, how great is that? So yeah, that's, that's, I think you're on the right path. That's exactly what I would do. Uh, I would make moving the last option, but that's a viable option too. Let me just say you two are talented. You could move to another state, get it, get two more gigs and, and take care of her needs. So I think that's a viable option. And that would be a discomfort that I would be willing to take on for the, for my daughter. There's no question, but I, I I'd like that to be the second option. 